And as kids head back to class this week, teachers want to make sure their classrooms are stocked and ready. Right. Many Metro teachers pay out of their own pockets every mm. year to get the supplies that those students need. And some of them now are starting to use crowdfunding it sites. It is unbelievable just how much money they spend they of their spend, own money. Yeah. yeah. KCTV 5 Savannah Rudisell talked with a few Metro teachers to see just how big of a struggle this is for them. And uh, Savannah, you learned that they're asking for help in interesting ways. Joe, that's right. Some people are just a little tired of dipping into their own savings to make sure that their uh, classrooms are fully stocked. So they're using GoFundMe and Amazon wish lists to ask for specific donations just for their classrooms. Now, on some of these wish lists are very specific items like a poster or a book, some of those specialty things. But other people are really just asking for the basics. Can you help me out with pencils or with pens? A uh, teacher I talked to uh, teaches Spanish in the North Kansas City District, and she said she noticed last year about half of her students were consistently coming unprepared to class. So she started a GoFundMe to help out those kids. She says it is so much easier for people to focus when they have all the supplies that they need. It's a little stressful for them and, and for the teacher because, like, they, instead of, like, getting the mindset of, like, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, like, take in whatever information the teacher has for me, it's like, oh, wait, I need to find a notebook. Wait, I need to find that paper that, <laughs> that the teacher gave, like, yesterday, and, like, I've lost it. And Bamina raised around $200 this year, and with that, she was able to provide a folder, a notebook, and a pencil for all of her 135 students she's got this year. Now, coming up at 6.30, we hear a little bit more from her about what it takes to create a positive learning environment in the classroom. Reporting live, Savannah Rudisell, KCTV 5 News. It's really interesting. I was actually just reading, Savannah, that some states are actually banning teachers from using these crowdsourcing sites. Nashville just put a stop to teachers doing this, but you really feel for them going into their own pockets to have to pay for these supplies. It's really interesting. Thank you. All right. Yeah, good story. It's uh, 505 right now and KCTV 5 News this morning is your home for back to school coverage. Send us your pictures and we're going to use them on air and online. So we wish you good luck heading back to school today.